Hey everybody, Pixel here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we got rid of Pseudo Wudo, uh, and by that I mean we caught it. It's in our Pokedex, actually. Uh, somewhere, I you'll know it when you see it because it will be lit up. It's in here. Yep, right here. We caught ourselves a Pseudo Wudo. As you can see, its area is unknown, so this is the only one in the entire game, and it doesn't reappear ever so yeah that was cool and while we were at that Wooper evolved into Quagsire so we have what is tied for my favorite Pokemon now um, in this episode we're going to be continuing along Route 35 and hopefully making our way to Ecruteak City if you come around here you'll find a hyper potion that restores 200 HP to the Pokemon you choose um we could go get that Apricorn, but it's a little bit far now, so... Route 37, not sure if there are any new encounters here. Don't think there are. If there are, then uh, they'll be at the end of this video, just because I completely forgot that this stretch is for some reason split into three different routes and the National Park. That's stupid. Um, I go... Yeah, after last time when you used Explosion, not completely certain I want you using Metronome right now. <laughs> Just because you're getting... I'm, I'm thinking Ego's friendship is probably getting into the point where it's getting ready to evolve. God damn it. Drowsy is the most asshole Pokemon when you need to switch, specifically in this game. We have a Chester Berry though, so... Watch, it's gonna use tip it's gonna use hypnosis again now. Nope, Dream Eater. Okay, it's going for the Dream Eater's a hundred power move that like a hundred power psychic type move that only affects Pokemon that are sleeping and it restores half the health it takes, which is a little bit unique for healing moves. It's usually only one fourth. So it's pretty unique, but it's also like it's very situational. 184, 184. That's enough to get Salad to 20, so... And Salad doesn't get anything at level 20. It's just good to be at level 20. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go around you. He has a few Apricorns over here that the Psychic was guarding. Red Apricorn. Blue Apricorn. And to complete the Generation 1 Apricorn Trilogy, we have ourselves a bl Never mind. I saw that was black. It was for the sake of the joke. Let me have this. Let me just have one thing. What do we got? Pidgey. So, um, I'm actually getting, I'm getting a little bit behind in levels again. Uh, which is normal. I'm using five Pokemon this early in the game already, but uh, that doesn't change the fact that we're going to be struggling a bit from now on. I'm... I don't know what I'm going to do. We have our second double battle here. Let's battle! Alright, I'm bringing out a Pokemon. Tori and Till. Marilyn Marie. Isn't that cute? Alright. Ego and Salad. Ego can probably deal with Mareep, actually. I know Salad can definitely deal with that Meryl. But I I mean I wanna keep Ego out just because it is getting farther along in the levels and I want it to evolve. I don't want it to be stuck the way it is forever. Level 19. Wants to learn Encore. Um, actually yeah, let's do it. I can think of a few future uses, and Growl is a useless move when we have Charm, so... Let's get Encore. Extra Sensory. And that'll take it out. 100 experience for both. I lost. I lost. You did lose. Even though I teamed up with Till, we still lost. Even though Tori tried very hard for me, we still lost. Oh, 
Oh, you're a cute little trainer. Why don't you battle me? Hey, hey, you there, you young trainer. Won't you battle with me? So yeah, we have a few uh, creepy beauties here. Beauty Callie and Beauty Cassandra. Just goes to show, don't trust anyone named Callie unless it's a dog. Alright, let's see here. What are we gonna do? Um... Oh boy, Ego's pretty useless here. <laughs> let's switch to Atlas. Brick Break will probably be enough to knock out either one of them after they get hit by a Razor Leaf. So... Atlas... Okay, Razor Leaf. Jeez. Oh, that was a crit. Never mind. That was a crit too! I got the double crit! That's a lot. Moves that hit both Pokemon are halved in double battles. Like, their power. So, getting a crit essentially means they're still full power. So if you get Crit Earthquake, uh, you get an 100 power move that hits both. Uh, unique. It's unique. It works out real well. But it's also, like, unless you have, like, Laser Focus, which doesn't even exist in this generation. So, it's situational. Rarely happens, but very cool when it does. Very cool, Kanye. Okay. 124. 124 all around. Atlas is level 20 now. So we're already slowly catching up in the levels. As you can see, they both have a Wigglytuff and a Clefable. This is the worst double battle. Because it takes forever because they just have two tanks that specialize in putting Pokemon to sleep. Luckily, if you have a fighting type like Atlas, this battle can be a, pretty much just a joke. And if a battle is a joke, you can be done with it faster and you'll still get all the rewards. Okay, keep on coring. You just sealed your fate, friend. There we go. 220, 220, 220 all around. You're good. Wow, you're strong. You guys are slightly more out of sync than those twins. Oh, I've learned something. There are people like you out there who are very skilled even though they're young. You. I wonder what your future holds. I don't. Alright. I think... Yep, that's it. That's Route 37. We are here in Akrotique City. It has been eight minutes. Like, not even. Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm, Ashley, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon, but it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl Lynette from Hoenn made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Buh bye And he will get the fuck out of here. So you may recognize Bill. He appeared in a Fire Red, Leaf Green, Red, Blue, and Yellow too. Let's heal up our heal up our Pokemon. They I mean they really only lost H or PP, none of them lost that much HP, but it's always good to be completely prepared for everything. What do you have to say? Lake of Rage. The appearance of a red Gyarados. I smell a conspiracy. I know it. I hadn't decided on his voice, but then he looked like a nerd. Kimono girls are so pretty. The way the kimono girls dance and the way they use their Pokemon are both marvels. That's good. Morty, the gym leader, is so cool. His Pokemon are really tough, too. Yep, there's a gym in this town, so... Guess that means... Episode or two from now, we'll be challenging a gym leader, and his name is eh, Morty. That that wasn't even. I'm I'm bleeping that out. Nope. No children. Hey hey! Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like a hula dance. You mustn't push such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Well, then I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. <laughs> 
What's the deal with that Team Rocket grunt messing with my kimono girl? You are a trainer, aren't you? Please help her. Oh, ouch. The stomachache. I wouldn't let this guy act like that were it not for this pain. To do such a terrible thing to a kimono girl. I don't understand how young people behave these days. Neither do I, and I'm one of them. Huh? Who are you? You dare get in my way? Team Rocket Grunt has a coffin. And guess who we're leading with? Togepi! <laughs> Alright. Uh, coffin's pretty weak, uh, especially, so... This should probably be all that's required to take it out. Yep. There we go. Looks like I lost. You don't say. Oh no! You make me look like a villain! Oops, I have an important mission. They found out I was wasting time here, they'll make me start over as the lowest Team Rocket grunt. I better leave now. You must be Ashley, correct? That was indeed excellent. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does not know what to look for in people. Oh, oh! That was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Wonderful! You were so courageous for your age. It was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it. He will give us HMO3 Surf! To get Surf this early on in a Pokemon game is awesome. That's Surf. It's a move that lets Pokemon swim across water with ease. Okay, so obviously Surf has uh, field uses, we can't actually put them to use yet, but Surf is actually, like, on its own, it's an excellent move, uh, and I want to teach it to uh, Axel. 95 power, 15 PP, and 100 accuracy. That's a good water type move. And Axel is more physically based, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a mixed attacker, if you look at its stats, it can do both. It's just better off using physical attacks, which is why it has headbutt. Axel learns Surf. That's good. Alright. Now that that's done, that's all you have to do in there, for now. Hello, just when you least expect it, I'm Cameron the Photographer. You look so photogenic, why not have a picture taken? I want to. Let's see who gets screwed this time. Nobody! Cool. Our team is small enough that nobody gets blocked. Good, good. We've got a nice picture. You can see all the pictures on your PC. So, uh, whenever you see this guy, he'll take a picture, and it's usually in front of, uh, like, larger monuments in the Johto region. So, uh, this is the barrier station to Bell Tower. No trespassing by the unworthy. You'll remember we saw Sprout Tower, uh, not that long ago, in... Uh, Violet City. Morty, the gym leader, ascended this tower to try to get to bring back ho -Oh because it no longer appears. Even he couldn't bring it back. You don't seem to have the Acrotique gym badge. If you can't even defeat Morty, going up there will be a waste of time. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. So yeah, this guy will uh, say no. The rainbow-hued Pokemon flying gracefully over the tower. The silvery, sparkling Pokemon resting gently upon the whirling seabed. All of this is far beyond my imagination. The Johto region has two legends. One is the legend about Whirl Islands, the other is the Bell Tower legend. We have been passing down the Bell Tower legend for generations in Acrotique City. Great. I'm gonna let you listen to the music here for a sec, because this city has actually good music. Yeah, I just thought this place has some nice music, so I'd let you listen to it. Next stop is this tower. Burn Tower. There is one new encounter here. Coughing. Coughing is actually really good. 
uh, people really just, they underestimate it because James uses one in the anime, but it's not bad at all. Uh, it has good defense, good, it's like a mixed attacker too, which is something you wouldn't expect. And uh, if you're Chugga Conroy, you find a shiny one on accident. So, it's all just perfect, really. Uh, pure poison, good type, uh, has levitate, so it's only, it's only affected superbly, it's the only super effective type against it is psychic. Uh, I mean, Psychic is pretty common as at least like a move type, but Coughing's still pretty good. Alright. Now that we're in here. My name is Yuzine. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are? Ashley? Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is here, so I came to take a look. Take a look at the basement through the hole in the floor. There. Suicune is down there. I could go downstairs, but I know it would run away in no time. I know. I've tried it many times. Of course, as soon as we turn, there's a wild Pokemon, and what else would it be but a Rattata? So Rattata can appear here, too. Coughing is definitely the better Pokemon that can appear here. What does this guy gotta say? My name is Morty. I'm Ecruteek's gym leader. Because my friend, old friend Yuzine is here on the trail of Suicune, I decided to investigate the Burn Tower. Ecruteek has a legend about these legendary Pokémon, Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. As the gym leader of Ecruteek, I must have a proper understanding of it. And who else would be here but Boy? Oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokémon to make yourself look strong. <laughs> That's only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokémon suits a trainer like me, who is sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. And he will challenge us to a battle. This is the third battle against Rival Boy, or Silver as his canon name is. He leads with Ghastly, level 20, Ghost Poison type, levitate for the ability knowing the moves Lick, Confuse Ray, Mean Look, and Curse. Or, in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, this is one of the few circumstances where it's technically a better Pokemon. Haunter, level 20, Ghost Poison type, knowing the moves Lick, Spite, Mean Look, and Curse. So. The only difference between the two is that it's evolved in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and it knows Spite instead of Confuse Ray. I personally think Confuse Ray is a better move, but it's it's debatable. Uh, Confuse Ray is like a hundred accuracy confusion move. Spite lowers lowers the PP of the move that knocks it out. I might be thinking of something else, but I'm pretty sure that's what Spite does. Spite does. Right off the bat, this Ghastly is going to do something that doesn't do anything, and then it's going to use Confuse Ray, of course. Why wouldn't it? I'm confident that Ego can get through Confusion, though. Yep. And take out the Ghastly. Man, Togepi... Togepi has been a lot more useful as a Togepi than I ever thought it could be. It's really surprising me. It's level 20 now. Right, he's about to send in Magnemite. Okay, that's his newest Pokemon. Want to use Rocky so I can get him caught up. It should only take one knockout, but... Uh... Axel is the smarter decision right now. So next up is Magnemite, level 18. Electric Steel type, Magnet Pull for the ability, knowing the moves Thundershock, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Thunder Wave. Or in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it's level 18 as well, knowing the moves Tackle, Thundershock, Supersonic, and Sonic Boom. Uh, pretty much the same in both. It doesn't have Levitate, despite the fact that it looks like it. So, ground type moves are four times super effective, plus it has relatively low special defense. Magnemite's dead. Alright. 342, what's next? Zubat, of course. Next up, he's going to send in... Okay, send it in. Send it in so I can go over it, please, sir. Sir. Zubat, level 20, poison flying type. Inner focus for the ability, knowing the moves Wing Attack, Supersonic, Astonish, and Bite. Or in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it's also level 20, knowing the moves Leech Life, Supersonic, Bite, and Confuse Ray. It's... Like, in Gold, Silver, and Crystal has two moves for the for the sole purpose of confusing. Uh, it doesn't have any stab moves. Bite is a special move. So, this thing is terrible in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. That said, Wing Attack can do a lot of damage to a lot of Pokemon if you're not an Onix. So, 
be careful of that. Um, I don't understand why it doesn't have Confuse Ray and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I don't know why they went with the worst of the two confusing moves, but they did. Let's go Rock Throw, finally finish it. Goodbye, Zubat. And as you saw, he only has one Pokemon left. And naturally, that is his starter. If you chose Chikorita, he will have Quillava, level 22. Out of desperation, weak people sometimes do okay at fighting back. Level 22, fire type, blaze for the ability to know the moves Flame Wheel, Smoke Screen, Ember, and Quick Attack, or Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it knows the moves Ember, Leer, Quick Attack, and Smoke Screen. If you chose Cyndaquil at the beginning of the game, it knows the move. It's a Croconaw, level 22 water type torrent for the ability known the moves Water Gun, Scary Face, Ice Fang, and Bite. Or in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it knows Water Gun, Leer, Bite, and Rage. And if you chose Totodile, he will go with Bayleaf, level 22 grass type, Overgrow for the ability knowing the moves Poison Powder, Reflect, Synthesis, and Magical Leaf. Or in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it will know Razor Leaf, Growl, Poison Powder, and Reflect. Overall, these starters can actually do a great deal of damage to a team if you are unprepared for them. As you can see, I very much am. Rocky has a lot of inaccurate moves, and it's also not really a dedicated attacker. I could have switched to Axel, but I want to get everyone up to level 20, just for... Don't you get that I'm going easy on you? Sure. Okay. Keep going easy on me. Thanks! Fucker. Fucking boy. That was rude. I'm sorry. 1003, jeez. I did not anticipate that kind of experience game. Huh. <laughs> I'm not fighting with another weakling ever again. It's just too much playing around. Ah, oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. And with that, he will leave, finally. Get out of here, boy. And with that, we can move into the basement of the Burnt Tower. There is one new encounter here before we move forward to these legendaries. Magmar! I mean, Magmar's okay. It has good special attack. It's decently fast for what it is. It's a good special sweeper as far as I know. But where it really shines is its evolution, Magmortar which you can't get through the main story, which is why I'm showing Magmar stats on screen. If you breed Magmar, you can get Magby, which evolves into Magmar at level 30. Don't know why you would, because Magmar is better in every way. Unless you're trying to complete the Pokedex, no real point. Magmar is okay. Did you see it? Suicune raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes. I've been chasing Suicune for almost 10 years, but I've never been this close. I'm all choked up. By the way, it was clear to me that Suicune took notice of your presence. Ecruteague's legendary Pokemon are said to come to people only when they recognize their talents. Perhaps I should be more aggressive towards Suicune. Anyway, Ashley, we will meet again. I'm gonna cut for a sec for totally relevant purposes. Now that we've seen the legendary beasts, you're going to want to take a look at your Pokegear's town map. You will see icons with both Pokemon's faces on them, Entei and Raikou specifically. You won't see Suicune because Suicune isn't a roaming legendary. These roaming legendaries are technically the first in the series because they appear in Gold, Silver, and Crystal too. Since it is possible to encounter and even capture them if you try hard enough at this point in time, I will be going over their bios right now. Raikou is one of the few Pokemon in my top 10 Pokemon that isn't a bird. I love Raikou. Raikou's very cool, it has a cool design, it's just a tiger with lightning. Competitively, or even just if you want to use it on your team through the main story, which I won't because I don't use legendaries very often, uh, 
it's a very fast special attacker. Um, and when I say very fast, I mean very fast. It can move faster than most Pokemon in the game. It gets a lot of moves like Thunderbolt, it gets Psychic, it gets Hidden Power, it gets pretty much any special move that you could need on it for it to be relevant. Um, so overall, Raikou, good Pokemon. Uh, it's just, you gotta keep it away from ground types because its defensive stats are not that great. Entei is a tanky physical sweeper. It has a massive HP and attack stat and 100 speed, making it pretty much one of the better physical sweepers you can find throughout the game. It gets moves like Earthquake, Fire Fang, Flare Blitz if you get to a tutor or you teach it later on, and it even gets a lot of special moves that it can actually put to use because its special attack isn't half bad. It also gets Stone Edge later on, it just gets a lot of cool physical moves and it gets a lot of coverage for its weaknesses. Uh, that said, I think Raikou is technically better. Not completely certain how the competitive community would feel about that statement, but... Uh, Entei works. It's good Pokémon. Of course it is, it's a legendary, and if you want to use it for your team, you could find a worse fire type. Like Magmar, who we talked about earlier. Alright, so with that, I think that's enough for today. Next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we will be challenging Morty in the Acrotique City Gym. Are you kidding me? See you guys then. Goodbye. Fucking destroy it, Ego. Do the Mario swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again.